in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings, good people of God. It is a new day. We thank God for the gift of life and for bringing us to this new day. Today is Tuesday, the 14th of July, 2020. The church celebrates the feast of St. Camillus de Lelis, priest. You are listening to Catholic Meditation with me, Father Blessed. Thanks for joining us. Let us pray. O God, who adorned the priest St. Camillus with a singular grace of charity towards the sick, pour out upon us by his merits a spirit of love for you, so that serving you in our neighbor at the hour of our death we may pass safely over to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. First reading from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 7, verses 1 to 9. The Gospel from St. Matthew, chapter 11, verses 20 to 24. I read from the Gospel. At that time, Jesus began to upbraid the cities where most of his mighty works had been done because they did not repent. Woe to you, Chorazin! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the mighty works done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes. But I tell you, it shall be more tolerable on the day of judgment for Tyre and Sidon than for you. And you, Capernaum, will you be exalted to heaven? You shall be brought down to Hades. For if the mighty works done in you had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. But I tell you that it shall be more tolerable on the day of judgment for the land of Sodom than for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When upon life's billows you are tempest tossed, when you are discouraged, thinking all is lost, count your many blessings, name them one. Make good use of the blessings you have. Make good use of the blessings you have. Dearly beloved of God, have you ever been guilty sometimes of seeing others and admiring them and wishing you had what they had? Especially sometimes you tell God how you wish you were a little taller than you are now, or perhaps a little fairer than you are now, or how you wish you could play the organ with ease as you see some doing, whatever talent you admire in others. The truth is, we spend a lot of time admiring the talents of others and wishing we had their blessings. 
And in doing so, we fail to sit back and see the many blessings that we have and we fail to thank God for them. That is the fun of life. Here we are, admiring others and wishing we were as blessed as they. And there are others who are seeing us with the many blessings we have. And they look at God and ask him why he could be this partial to have blessed us with almost everything. Well, you may say to admire is not a bad thing. You are right. We are not being jealous, just admiring and wishing we had seen. That is true. But when we spend time admiring others and wishing we were like them, we fail to see the many, many, many blessings that we have that they don't have. And we fail to thank God for our many blessings. We spend time looking at things others have that we don't and wishing we had. And here we are with so many great things that we fail to see. I tell you, if others had the things and qualities that you have, they would spend their whole lives thanking God. But there you are, thinking you are not blessed. In today's gospel, Jesus reproached some towns, Korazin, Bethsaida, and Capernaum. And he tells them, if the miracles done in them had been done in other towns, they would have repented long ago. In other words, the blessings that Korazin, Bethsaida, and Capernaum had, they failed to make use. They would have made good use of these talents. But there were Korazin, Bethsaida, and Capernaum with such honor and privilege, yet they made no use. This was the sin of these three cities, for which Jesus was mad at them. Scripture does not record what Jesus did in these cities, but definitely the miracles worked in those cities would have been very great. To say that Sodom and Gomorrah would have been converted where those miracles worked in them, but they did not make use. It was a wasted gift given them. But we should know the greater privileges and opportunities we have the greater our responsibilities and punishments too will be. For to whom much is given, much is expected. Luke chapter 12 verse 48. The second sin of these cities was the sin of indifference. Unlike some other cities, nowhere do we read that any of these three cities attacked, sent Jesus away or sought to crucify him. They simply disregarded or neglected him. Just how many times too, beloved, we just disregard or neglect our many gifts and blessings while spending time looking at others. If only we realized how blessed and privileged we are and to begin making use of what God has blessed us with. But you see, we fail to see our blessings are privileges that God has given us and we may fall into the same sin like these three cities. And this leads us to the third sin, the sin of doing nothing. There are sins of action, sins of deed, that is, things we do that are wrong. But there is also sin of inaction. This was the sin of Korazin, Bethsaida and Capernaum. They did nothing. Dear friends, let us be careful. What have you done with the many blessings and talents God has given you? You may be burying them. You may be doing nothing. What are you doing with the grace of salvation that has been offered you on a platter of gold? What are you doing with the many, many homilies and meditations you listen? What are you doing with the opportunity you have of receiving the Blessed Sacrament and other sacraments? Are you guilty like the three cities of doing nothing? Just letting them lie fallow. Jesus also tells us, on Judgment Day, 
it will be very, very bad on us. Because I tell you, there are others who have not yet heard about Christ and they are struggling, doing everything possible to hear about him. There are others who have not the opportunity we have every day of listening to God's word. There are others who have not the opportunity to receive the sacraments. What are you doing with this honor, this privilege and blessing that God has given you? Jesus says, it will be tolerable for Sodom and Gomorrah on Judgment Day than for us because they had not the opportunity that we have now. The same with your talents, beloved. Make use of the blessings that God has given you. There are some of us, if we sing, even the birds will come to listen to us because we have golden voices. What are you doing with that voice? Do you sing to give glory to God? Or you use that voice only to criticize other choirs for not singing well and to gossip? There are some of us who have been blessed by God with beautiful talents to organize, beautiful talents to do things. And what are you doing with those blessings? You rather sit back, fail to see your own many blessings, and you spend time looking at others and wishing you were like them. Make good use of the blessings that God has given you. Jesus also says, alas to us, because of the many talents, the many gifts and blessings he has given us, of which we make no use. I tell you, if others had what we have, and here we are wasting, perhaps they would have been on record. They would have entered already the Guinness Book of Record. Therefore, don't spend time admiring others. If you admire them, it should be a challenge for you to make good use of yours. Make use of what God has given you. If only you knew others wished they were as privileged as you, but here you are complaining every day to God that he has not blessed you because you fail to see what you have and to make use of it. St. Camillus was born in the year 1550 near Naples in Italy. He embarked on a military career and led an immoral life. At the age of 25, he was seriously wounded and while in hospital, he was converted to Christ. Soon, he began living a life of penance in service to the sick and he later founded the Chameleons to look after the sick. Until the end of his life, he lived out the ideal of charity and service with love and zeal. He died in Rome in the year 1614. Yes, he made use of the opportunity and the blessings that God gave him. What about you? What are the blessings you have? Through the intercession of St. Camillus, may we make good use of the blessings that God has given us. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit come on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen.